Hello, my name is Daniel Lee, and I got my name from my mom. She's a very devout Christian. So she, I believe she got my name from the Bible. Um, I first met Yuki um, off of a street in Georgetown. Um, we were getting cookies together at the Levain Bakery, and she was right next to me in the line. <laughs> And after we both got our cookies, I went outside and I asked for a number. And then we started talking, texting. Then we had a few more meetings for about three weeks. And then I asked her to be my girlfriend. And then that's how our dating story begins. So before I met Yuki, I was a very introverted person. But um, after meeting Yuki, somehow, there was like a click that made me turn into an extroverted person. Um, so the things that we would do is that these are very childish um, acts that um, Yuki would sometimes make me smell her armpit and her smelly feet after coming back from class. And she would usually say, breathe in, breathe out. And I would mostly suffocate during those times. Um, and like whenever we come back from the movies, we would take the scooter home and we would um, talk about how bad or good the movie was. Like I would usually talk about like how the movie would include or have Chinese actors if, if there's a Chinese sponsor behind the movie. And Yuki would get very upset with me saying that. And yeah, our love story is very unique. <clears throat> and it still continues. Yeah, um, my name is Lola and I live in Falls Church, Virginia. Came to this country 22 years ago. From multiple countries I lived before, but I think you want to know about my love story, right? So the guy who we met, he was... Um, working in the, in the embassy, uh, one of the foreigner countries. And later on we met and he met my family and we become a good friends even we didn't speak any mutual languages. And you know, that time I just graduated from uh, music school and when I played music on piano I think it was captivating and it made a big difference in our lives so we started dating at that time it was pretty interesting because you know a lot of KGB agencies around you and what you do why you even speak to somebody foreigner um so the long story short the real world started that time and everybody started to be evacuated all the embassies to be like you know the exit but my boyfriend that time he he stayed he stayed in in spite of a lot of danger around us and my family were so appreciative so time goes by so he um actually was transitioning to europe and we traveled together and it was a big love like you know, I was the girl who was from Soviet Union who never saw anything behind 
like you know that steel frame that we had that time um, you would not even dream that you can you know go one day to America or we even could not dream about that but we started travel and Four years later, he was diagnosed with cancer. And I never will forget that when any time we were going one way or another, he would be telling me that nobody will love you as much as I did. And the way how he opened my eyes with that, you know, world is not that small around you. You have to explore, you have to see the world. And that's what I did. So I moved to Turkey, we lived there and after you know short of time he he died he's dying from cancer and i couldn't stay there i stayed there i i got a lot of friends i got a really nice job there but it was like really hard that everything was just reminding me about him but the way how he wanted me to, to see me, I never will forget. And I never will forget how much he loved me. And I loved him back. And there is no one day that passing away that I forget about him. So he always will be in my heart. guys, my name is Yuen and this is my little brother, his name is Berber, he's currently 5 years old, he's a, a mixed breed of a Chinese dog and he used to be a street dog. I brought him here from Beijing for like in 4 months already. I think overall for Berber, the love between me and Berber is really important because he, when he was in the street, he worth nothing absolutely. But with me, with our connection, he could be a service dog. He could accompany me, he could bring joy and love to other people. But also to me, the love between me and Berber is really helping me to get through really difficult time, including getting to new places, you know, um, being in this country for the very first time. And I think I really, I think it's a very precious experience to have.